Continuing our coverage on the Marvel Cinematic Universe, predominantly talking about Doctor Strange 2, but also talking about some wild Doctor Doom rumours and some Thanos rumours. So, you know the drill. What is good, YouTube? What's you here? If you are new around, make sure to subscribe to never miss any Marvel DC pop culture-based content we do here on the daily basis. If you could help the channel out by subscribing, turning the notification bell on, sharing the video everywhere, and commenting as many times as physically possible. Also, if you want to see the beautiful, smooth face behind the beautiful voice, just check us out on Instagram, at Warstu, and also check us out on Twitter, or washed you G. I'm trying to build a Twitter community. I've currently got 36 followers. You could be a lucky number 37, right? Let's get into this video. So a couple of days ago, we got an official Empire Magazine cover, which confirms the leaks. It confirms the trailer. It confirms misdirection. Now, this is going to be the cover for May, which is the month of the movie Doctor Strange 2 coming out. Now, the front cover actually confirms it is a horror movie still, whilst being in the PG-13 category kind of like the batman was although in uk for some reason it was a 15 so it says marvel exclusive doctor strange in to the multiverse of madness benedict cumberbatch powers up for the mcu's terrifying thriller ride which is interesting because as we know scott derrickson was originally the director for this but then for some reason he wasn't it's very interesting i hope after this movie comes out kevin feige or scott derrickson can legally talk about what was the original plot because as we know no way home was was supposed to come out after Doctor Strange 2 initially. It was supposed to go Doctor Strange 2, then No Way Home. But due to whatever happened in the world, although the world's going mental at the moment, it seems they've changed a lot of things around. So that's not the interesting thing. The interesting thing is actually the spread of the page. Doctor Strange Into the Multiverse of Madness exclusive subscribers cover by Chris. So this is very misleading. As you know, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch, is the overall villain. She is being controlled by the Dark to get her children back. She is being manipulated by Mr. Cathon and the Elder God, in theory, at least. But if you look at this poster, you have the tentacles, I believe that I believe they're called tentacles, of Gargantus all over the place. And they're trying to misdirect you quite a lot on this poster, to a certain degree, into thinking that Gargantus is actually the villain, when really that's just a demon. It's, I mean, technically it's Shamagora, but they're not allowed to use that for legal reasons. Wanda summons, essentially, Gargantus to to try to get America Chavez so can she can siphon her powers in order to physically come through realms because she can't astral project her physical body so there is some very interesting images so we have what looks like one with his face burnt off because as we know, Wan is Sorcerer Supreme. In order for Doctor Strange to become Sorcerer Supreme again, technically Wan would have to die, but if the post credit scene is real and clear, it's going to be in it. Doctor Strange's girlfriend, is she going to become Sorcerer Supreme? I don't believe Wan is going to die, although I think they should for the narrative to move forward. I think this is a misdirect, and I don't actually think Wan is going to die, although in the trailer, we do see him hanging, and then we see him calling for Strange, and then we see Strange going zombie mode, and then I said he was the god of the symbiote. No, although he actually wasn't. I was just saying that it kind of looked like he was. So that is something that's very interesting on this poster. The poster doesn't really allude to much, but it does kind of allude to a few things. We see he's still got the eye of Agamotto, and a lot of people are like, why has he got the eye of Agamotto? Because the time zone. Well, if you didn't know, the eye of Agamotto does actually still do things without the time zone in it. So we get affirmation of the leaks in this. So we see Baron Mordo with a crossbow. Now the leaks suggest that Baron Mordo is hunting Wanda and then Wanda essentially kills him. We know Wanda is literally going to be going on a kill spree in this movie and Wanda actually will die. Oh my God, she's just signed a new seven year deal. Yeah, I know, but it's going to be a variant of Wanda that dies. Wanda still dies, but it's a variant. I'm going to use that for the title. Sorry guys, I really will. Wanda will die, but it's a variant. So we know so Sorcerer Supreme is one, and we know we have a Sinister Strange who, in the first trailer, I guess you could say post credit scene for No Way Home, they try to make out that it was essentially him being the villain, when realistically he's not actually in the movie that much, if I'm honest. Uh, based on intel I've got, he's barely in the movie, pretty much. Now, the main poster does have Strange as the centerpiece in the middle, and then you have Elizabeth Olsen below doing some meditation, trying to summon and trying to astral project herself into someone else's body because she's trying to get her children back. And we know her children are going to be in the Young Avengers and they're going to be a pinnacle part of the MCU going forward. So you see the tentacles throughout. We see the Minotaur. 
We see the Minotaur, who's realistically not going to be in much here, being the Kamatage bits, but he's realistically not going to be in it much. Then we see an eye. Whose eye is it? Is it Gargantus' eye? Most likely, but it could be the third eye that Stephen Strange gets right at the end of the movie. Could be. I don't know. That could be true. We don't know. I got a question today, and people were like, yo, wh why do you cover these leaks if you think they're real, if you know they're real? I don't know if they're real. I don't know anything. I just cover things. But this is an official, an official poster. So whatever's on this is pretty much misleading because it should really be showing Wanda Maximoff freaking out and killing everyone. I don't understand why they're not showing that. Because the other images we got recently, also from Empire Magazine, were even more revealing and even more on the point. So we see, I, d I don't know if I put these in the video because you know how companies work with copyright claims on YouTube. So we see both Stephen Strange and American Chavez in a prison, in the Illuminati prison, which backs up the scene that they all want to kill strange because he's broke the timeline rules he's broke the reality rules and essentially patrick stewart x-men doesn't want to kill him so this bit literally confirms the plot leaks it's all lining up guys the plot leaks are real they're all real and people still don't believe it i do find it fascinating how they can't really reveal anything without revealing a lot and people don't realize is the reshoots didn't really change much because if you've seen the most recent trailer we went over a plot leak the other day which was back in 2021 august and literally there is 70 80 percent of this plot leak is backed up in the trailer still so also in the news recently my good friend daniel radcliffe had some comments to say about the rumors of him being Wolverine. I don't know if you if you read fan castings and stuff like that on comicbook.com. We've covered this one often. There's a lot of fans who Wolverine? think of Wolverine. I mean, mate, I just, people. It's it's the most. So you did hear point it. people because so many times people come up to me like, "Hey, man, I heard the Wolverine news. That's really cool." I'm like, mate, it's not. I don't know anything about it. Like, I appreciate that somebody has clearly gone like Wolverine's actually short in the comic books. We should get like a short guy to do it. But but I don't I don't I don't see my I don't see them going from Hugh Jackman to me afterwards. But who knows? Prove me wrong Marvel and now people think he is Wolverine actor Daniel Radcliffe best known for playing Harry Potter has reacted to the rumors and they don't normally react like this it was Brandon Davis from comicbook.com at his new film The Lost City and he says this hey man heard the Wolverine rumors it's pretty cool no I don't know anything about it like I, I appreciate that somebody is clearly going to like Wolverine actually short like he is in the comics appreciating that Wolverine is short that is why Wash you can't be Wolverine because I'm not sure you should get a short guy to do it and yeah who knows pretty much he did comment but he didn't really say much as I, I don't see them going for Hugh Jackman to me but who knows so he's addressing it because he knows he's going to get asked it because his new, big new movies coming out with Channing Tatum and Sandra Bullock and obviously Daniel Radcliffe so they're going to get asked he's going to get asked that question because everyone wants a new Wolverine but there's a bunch of the Wolverines that are allegedly supposed to be in this movie so it's a little bit hard to understand which it could be so recently I find this very interesting the scooper game realistically no one's a scooper. So the moth culture put out this rumor. Now, when it's a rumor, you can't really debunk a rumor because it's not like saying exclusive scoop. So Disney Plus Guardians of the Galaxy prequel series focuses on Gamora's family-like relationship with Nebula and Thanos. Now, Mr. James Gunn comes through and debunks it. And then you get another little scooper also chiming in when it's a rumor. Like rumor? Like do people not understand the definition of the word rumor? So he comes out and says, LOL, no, he tortured them. Not exactly a family-like relationship. So, which, yeah, would make sense. And then you get this Twitter user who is verified, which doesn't really mean anything. Big screen leaks. Second time you've been exposed. How do people still believe you? But it's still a rumor. Just because a director's come out and broken down and like debunked a rumor, that doesn't really mean anything. Big screen leaks. How many times has the likes of Grace Randolph's stuff been debunked, yet they've still got big platforms, yet everyone is a hit and miss it didn't he moth culture didn't come out and say exclusive leak he didn't even say leak rumor literally you can hear a rumor on the bus on the train on the plane in the gym i've heard loads of rumors about spider-man no way home in the gym i go to and people kept asking me are these rumors true and i was like i don't know they could be so yeah when it's a rumor take it as a rumor and that's it it does not it doesn't need james gunn to debunk a rumor because it's a rumor. So guess what? There's another rumor here from Moth Culture. Doctor Doom, Disney Plus series, follows Victor Von Doom trying to rescue his mother from Mephisto. After many unsuccessful attempts, Doom considers asking Doctor Strange for assistance. And this is a rumor. It's not confirmed. It's not verified. But Moth Culture's track record is just as good as anyone else's track record. And I'm not going to go and say there's a hierarchy of scoopers or Twitter influencers or people that drop information from 
Reddit and try to make out their own information because as cool as all these Twitter scoopers are, a lot of the information turns up on Reddit first and then suddenly appears as a scoop. So it is what it is. is are they going to do the storyline? I don't know, but it would be interesting. Victor Von Doon trying to rescue his mother from Mephisto after many unsuccessful attempts considers asking Strange for assistance. Now that would be pretty cool. A, a lot of people, and there has been a rumor Doctor Doom series for a very long time. That's been rumored by a lot of different people, and potentially they could even have Doom be Strange Apprentice before he comes a big bad and and change his origin. I guess in a way. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here, guys. That could be that would be cool. We do know there is going to be a Doctor Doom series. Allegedly, we do know Doctor Doom is supposed to appear in Wakanda Forever, Black Panther two, and that's where he's supposed to debut alongside the likes of Namor. But we don't know. There has been some information. Charles Murphy put some information out about potentially Doctor Doom being in Black Panther 2, but pretty much everyone's covered that story at some point. So let me know, do you think the Empire cover and the new Empire pictures confirms the plot leaks are real? Pretty much does, guys. Pretty much does. So like always, I just want to thank you for all the love and support I've been getting recently on the videos. It is much appreciated, guys. I will be coming out with some Thor, Love and Thunder, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, and a bunch of different content this week. Not so much focus on Multiverse Madness, though we do have a pretty interesting video coming up on Tuesday or Monday. It depends when I get around to doing it. So like always, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Please comment. Please share it everywhere. Please comment 500 times. I mean comment 500 different times, not comment 500 times what people do. It's so funny when that happens. Check us out on Instagram at WallStu if you want to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. And I will catch you on Twitter. WallStuG, follow me over there, please. And I will catch you in another video very soon, guys. Catch you later.